Bonnie, happy Tuesday night. Oh my goodness, you guys, who else is just obsessed with Candle Day right now? It is such a wonderful distraction in the world to be thinking about all these wonderful scents and kind of deciding what uh, we're going to buy. I'm still... I'm still working with my, my wish list, but what I did this afternoon was I actually went through my Christmas collection and I pulled 10 candles that I want to get a backup of. And it's, it's blowing my candle budget because initially I was like, okay, I'll get 20 candles for candle day. And I think what I meant to tell myself was that I'll get 20 of the new ones coming out, but then... <laughs> I'll probably get these additional 10. So that brings my uh, budget up to like 300. I do have a coupon, so it's probably going to be back down to 240 because I get 20% off. So I'm like, that, that's pretty good. But um, as a reviewer, I do tend to buy a lot more different candles probably than the average person because I want to review them for you. And one thing I don't usually do is I don't usually buy like 10 of the same candle. And I know a lot of people do that and I understand why. Once you get a favorite candle, um, you kind of want to, you know, burn it all the time. And then what I do as a reviewer is a lot of times I will keep on hand one candle from like the previous year just so I can refer back to it. Like, for example, Pink Fairy Gumdrop. Um, it was nice to be able to pull this out for you guys. It smells good. Um, and be able to say, okay, this is what's coming. So I tend to you know, keep one on stock. And then, you know, last year I probably burned two Pink Fairy Gumdrop because it's a great scent. I love burning Pink Fairy Gumdrop. Speaking of Pink Fairy Gumdrop, oh my goodness. So I placed an order with Bath & Body Works. I swear someone was listening <laughs> because I've been calling that poor pink jar ugly for so long. Now I don't even have it. <laughs> so I ordered Pink Fairy Gumdrop, Blueberry Sugar, I got some soaps, um, pretty big order back on November 20th, and it's still like in limbo shipping with Laser Ship. It hasn't been fulfilled by Bath & Body Works yet. So I was going to call Bath & Body Works today, and then they've got this whole recording about how if you haven't gotten past your estimated ship date, you got to wait. So I was like, I'm just going to wait. Hopefully it shows up, but I am waiting on that order. So right now, I want to take you through my top 10 candles from the Christmas collection that are going to take you into spring and summer. These are scents that you might be kind of sad when Christmas is over if you do not have a backup. And these are scents that I don't think are gonna be duplicated into the spring and summer. So the first one obviously um, is Pink Fairy Gumdrop, which I don't even have the new one yet. So this one is fabulous. It is the Sparkling Sugared Berries Pink Cotton Candy Sprinkle of Fairy Dust. It's definitely a spring candle. It's a summer candle. You can burn this year round and it smells fabulous. This one is perfect year round. So that is a definite uh, stock up. Number two, these aren't in any particular order. I didn't rank them. Holiday Cheers. Oh my gosh. This one, I feel like for me personally, is one of my favorite candles of 2021. I think it's the interesting milky quality. So it's warm vanilla, spiced rum, and a dash of nutmeg. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Tropical Spice. Oh my gosh, you guys, I need a backup of this one. It's like a winter tropical spice. I love the jar. Honestly, this is, I think, in my top three favorite candles of um, Christmas. By the way, I'll be doing all of the best of 2021 list going into December. I love doing best of 2021. It's so much fun to pull everything out. Um, another candle that you're going to want to maybe get an extra of is this Love Cotton Candy Champagne. Oh my gosh, the jar is beautiful. You could turn it around. It almost looks like a Valentine's Day jar. Um, even with the love on it, it's perfect. This one smells amazing. It's the um, Bubbly Rosé Sweet Strawberries and Pink Sugar. It is perfect going into Valentine's Day. That strawberry note. Um, this is one you might want to pick up a couple extra of. Next up, Smoked Vanilla. Oh my goodness. This one comes out at Christmas. I like burning this one in January. It is Creamy Vanilla Smoked Sandalwood and Rich Bourbon. I swear, you put literally 
rum, bourbon, and whiskey in any scent, and it really brings out that richness, and that's what happens with smoked vanilla. This one is actually lost in my order that's <laughs> coming. I really like the jar, but that's on my backup list. Hot cocoa and cream. Hot cocoa and cream comes out once a year <laughs> at Christmas, and you're going to want to stock up. They should bring this out for Easter because it's a chocolate scent. Decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk, mini marshmallows. If you like the hot cocoa and cream, get a few extra to get you through the year because, again, this probably won't be back again um, until next Christmas. Blackberry cream frosting. This I put this on the list. I don't have my blueberry sugar here. If you like those really like sugary, fruity scents, I would either choose between the blueberry sugar or the blackberry cream frosting to get an extra of. Um, only because this one is so beautiful. It's tart. It's fruity. It's fabulous. Cookies with Santa. Oh my gosh. If you like cookie candles, this might be worth getting an extra of. I really like this. I, I don't know. I can't decide yet <laughs> which one I like better. If I like cookies with Santa or I like Merry Cookie, I like them both. This is the fresh cinnamon, brown sugar, and a dollop of vanilla. I love this one. I was just burning this one the other day, and I'm like, you know what? This is so nice, and I actually want to get an unburned one of these just to put in my unburned collection because it's so pretty. I don't know if we'll ever see that again, so I want that one. I also want brown sugar latte. I love this one. Um, this is the freshly roasted coffee, frothed milk, and sugared praline. We are getting Paris Cafe back, but is a coffee candle... I am really loving um, this brown sugar latte. This is definitely worth backing up. It would surprise me, however. I don't know why. I just have a hunch um, that they could dupe brown sugar latte maybe in the spring. It kind of feels like a Valentine's Day, kind of like that whipped coffee. Um, Merry Cookie. Merry Cookie is one that only comes out at Christmas. So if you like this cookie one, which is the fresh baked cookies, sprinkling, uh, spr sprinkling, <laughs> sparkling sugar, crystals, and rich vanilla. To me, this one has got a little bit of a cookie dough quality that I like. I swear Cookies with Santa has a crunchier quality, where this one has more of a, like, um, a cookie dough quality. But we're getting another one of these, at least one or two, I think, coming up um, with Candle Day in different jar styles. So that's definitely a stack up. Twisted Peppermint is on my list. I never got the Twisted Peppermint in the three wick this year. I don't know what is wrong with me. I have it in the single wick. I am dying to get my hands on another Twisted Peppermint. I need to get that one. Uh, so that's number 10. I also wanted to mention in this video, because I happen to see it sitting here, don't forget these glass-topped candles like Ice Blueberry Biscotti. Add these to your Candle Day wish list because... They're going to be um, $27.50, and if all candles are in that $9.95, $10.25 range, you're going to get a deal on these. So this is another one um, that you're going to want to, you know, put on your list. So I am still reworking my wish list. I am assuming, I think, it's going to be ready tomorrow. I'm going to do the video tomorrow um, because I want to teach everyone how I do my wish list. I'm, I'm mixing it up a little bit this year because there's so many new candles coming out. I have a color coding system. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. So anyway, um, let me know your number one candle choice that you are buying more than one of um, from the Christmas collection for spring and summer. I'm really curious to see what everyone is interested in stocking up on this year. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.